Katie Hobbs made her first appearance today as governor this morning in Arizona. Her first inaugural address, Hobbs promised progress and bipartisanship. It was a peaceful transition at the state capitol with three former Arizona governors in attendance. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia joins us live with details. Very few protesters there. Just a handful, and they were kept very far away from the ceremony. This morning, Governor Katie Hobbs taking the ceremonial oath of office in front of thousands of her supporters, including her predecessors, Republican governors Fife Symington, Jan Brewer, and Doug Ducey. Now, also sitting in the front row along with them was John McCain's widow, Cindy McCain, and their two sons. Katie Hobbs, now the first Democrat governor of Arizona, since 2009 and that I will faithfully and impartially and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties discharge the duties of the office of governor of the office of governor according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability so help me God so help me God congratulations Thank you. Governor Katie Hobbs pledging to work with the Republican-controlled legislature, saying it's time to move past the hate and partisanship of the recent election. That chasing conspiracy theories, pushing agendas for special interests, attacking the rights of your fellow Arizonans, or seeking to further undermine our democracy will lead nowhere. Among the issues she plans to tackle right away, public education, the state's water crisis, and helping Arizonans with rising inflation costs. I'm an optimist. I believe that now is the perfect time to move past division and partisanship and return to a path of cooperation and progress. Two other Democrats were sworn in. Chris Mays clinched the race for attorney general by less than 300 votes. Adrian Fontes takes over as secretary of state. Two Republicans shared the inauguration stage as well. Tom Horn was sworn in as superintendent of public schools and Kimberly Yee won re-election. As I take my oath of office to serve my second term as state treasurer, my heart is full of gratitude to the people of this great state of Arizona. And Governor Hobbs will deliver another important speech to the public on Monday during her very first State of the State address. Reporting live, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.